Indira Gandhi, the first female Prime Minister of India, remains one of the most iconic and controversial figures in Indian political history. Known for her strong leadership, decisive actions and tumultuous tenure, she left an indelible mark on the nation. Born into a family deeply entrenched in Indian politics, her journey from a shy young girl to a powerful stateswoman is both captivating and inspiring. Indira Priyadarshini Gandhi was born on November 19, 1917, into the Nehru Gandhi dynasty, one of the most influential families in Indian politics. Her father, Jawaharlal Nehru, later became the first Prime Minister of India, and her grandfather, Motilal Nehru, was a prominent figure in the Indian National Congress. Growing up in the midst of India's struggle for independence, young Indira was exposed to political discussions and activism from an early age. Despite her privileged background, she developed a keen awareness of social issues and a sense of duty towards her country. Indira received her education at prominent institutions in India and abroad, including the University of Oxford, where she studied history. Her academic pursuits equipped her with a deep understanding of global affairs and a nuanced perspective on governance. Indira Gandhi's entry into politics was influenced by her family's involvement in the Indian National Congress, INC, and the Freedom Movement. Despite initial reservations about active participation, she gradually immersed herself in political activities, accompanying her father to public events and rallies. Her political apprenticeship continued under the mentorship of her father and other prominent leaders within the Congress Party. She honed her oratory skills, familiarised herself with grassroots issues, and began forging alliances with key party members. Indira Gandhi's ascent within the Congress Party was gradual, but steady. Her close association with her father and her ability to connect with the masses earned her respect and admiration from party workers and leaders alike. Following India's independence in 1947, she held various positions within the Congress Party, gaining valuable experience in administration and governance. Her breakthrough came in 1959, when she was appointed as the President of the Indian National Congress, a position that elevated her stature within the party. The, the next meeting was not discussed at all except for the fact that there would be such a meeting. As the political landscape evolved, Indira emerged as a formidable leader capable of navigating the complex dynamics of Indian politics. Indira Gandhi assumed the office of Prime Minister of India on January 24, 1966, following the sudden demise of Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri. Despite initial skepticism about her leadership abilities, she quickly asserted her authority and embarked on an ambitious agenda of socio-economic reforms. During her first term as Prime Minister, Indira Gandhi implemented several progressive policies aimed at alleviating poverty promoting rural development and empowering marginalist communities. Her slogan Garibi Hatao encapsulated her vision of a more equitable society. One of the deafening moments of her first term was the nationalisation of banks in 1969, a bold move aimed at restructuring the country's financial system and extending banking services to rural areas. While the decision sparked controversy and criticism from various quarters, it bolstered her image as a decisive leader, unafraid of taking unconventional measures for the greater good. Indira Gandhi's leadership was put to the test during the Bangladesh Liberation War of 1971, which led to the creation of the independent nation of Bangladesh. In response to the humanitarian crisis unfolding in East Pakistan, now Bangladesh, India intervened militarily to support the Bengali nationalist movement. Under Indira's guidance, the Indian armed forces decisively defeated the Pakistani military, leading to the surrender of thousands of Pakistani troops and the eventual independence of Bangladesh. The successful outcome of the war bolstered India's regional standing and solidified Indira's reputation as a strong and capable leader. Despite her achievements, Indira Gandhi's tenure was marred by numerous challenges and controversies economic stagnation, political unrest, and allegations of authoritarianism 
plagued her administration, leading to growing discontent among opposition parties and civil society groups. The imposition of emergency rule in 1975, ostensibly to maintain law and order, drew widespread condemnation both domestically and internationally. Civil liberties were curtailed, political opponents were arrested, and censorship was imposed on the media, leading to accusations of authoritarianism and abuse of power. The emergency era remains a dark chapter in India's democratic history, tarnishing Indira Gandhi's legacy and sparking debates about the balance between national security and individual freedoms. Indira Gandhi's return to power in 1980 marked a new phase in Indian politics. Despite the controversies surrounding her previous term, she was re-elected with a decisive mandate, reflecting her enduring popularity among certain sections of the electorate. During her second term, Indira focused on revitalizing India's economy, promoting technological innovation, and strengthening the country's defense capabilities. Her emphasis on self-reliance and indigenous development initiatives laid the groundwork for future economic growth and technological advancement. However, her government also faced criticism for its handling of various crises, including escalating tensions in Punjab and the emergence of insurgent movements in the Northeast. The events leading up to Operation Blue Star, a military operation aimed at flushing out Sikh militants. Operation Blue Star, conducted in June 1984, remains one of the most controversial episodes of Indira Gandhi's tenure. The military operation, which aimed to eliminate Sikh separatists, led by Jarnail Singh, Pindranwale, holed up in the Golden Temple complex, resulted in significant casualties and damage to the holiest shrine of Sikhism. The operation's aftermath was characterized by widespread outrage and protests, particularly among the Sikh community, who viewed it as an assault on their religious identity and autonomy. The repercussions of Operation Blue Star reverberated across India, leading to a surge in Sikh militancy and ultimately culminating in Indira Gandhi's tragic assassination later that year. On October 31, 1984, Indira Gandhi was assassinated by her own Sikh bodyguards in retaliation for Operation Blue Star. Her death sent shockwaves across the nation and plunged India into a state of mourning. The assassination also triggered anti-Sikh riots in various parts of the country, resulting in widespread violence and loss of life. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.